Hello everybody and welcome back to Carmsden. Uh One of the guys from the shops here fitting a new hitch to the slurry spreader after the accident because um, it basically got twisted so he's fitting that up with a new hitch the drawbar wasn't too bad it just twisted off the tractor uh, I had to replace the main hitch bit there yeah but uh, the lad that was here was ended up in hospital when the accident happened and basically what it was just up here somewhere there's a natural spring that was spurting out water uh, must have been something to do with where the water gathers in the winter over by the wall and then somewhere in here seems to have stopped now but there's bit, there was a natural spring spurting out water that was obviously running down the hill and apparently he thinks he was turning or something and he just slid slid down here where it jackknifed and twisted the tractor off the spreader and then flipped the tractor straight into the river the insurance company are dealing with the tractor at the moment because it is a write-off we've just dragged it out I don't know why we even bothered but we've just dragged it flipped it over with some chains and stuff and dragged it back out the river made it quite a bit of a mess there um, but yeah we're going to wait just leaving it there now waiting to hear back from the insurance company um, because it is a write-off uh, because it landed on this side it got into all the computers and everything and has absolutely damaged it so it hasn't been started or anything like that um, they said not to start it um, but it's damaged all the electronics and all the wiring and computers in there so it's pretty much useless I would imagine it costs a lot of money to sort it out as well so but we're waiting to find out about that so yeah that's what happened just an unfortunate accident so today we're going to jump back in the 6930 and just run that back up to the dairy farm there Other guys just with him at the moment doing that hitch. Our Land Rover's just up here, so we need to jump into that and go and carry on with our spraying. Uh, everyone was in a little bit of shock. Uh, that was a couple of days ago since that happened, and nothing's really happened since. still need to go and get our spraying done and get that sprayer off fire let's get this hitch back up so we're going to leave that there I believe the ambulance that was called from someone was looking out the window for that, the big house there, and they saw it all happen about them. So they called the ambulance and the police, haven't they?
so we'll just leave that there for the time being our sprayer is still where we left it so we've still got to spray everything so we're probably going to do it what they call a time lapse on this of us spraying everything so that's what we should do so enjoy the time lapse of us spraying all of our fields So that's us done out here. We had to fill up a couple of times and pop back for this last fill to fill it up with slug pellets. So everywhere's had a nice covering of slug pellets and all been sprayed up before the weeds start. So we'll just run this back now for the last time. So we can part this up and get on the phone and off hire it. And they can pick that up whenever they like. 
Uh, we only do one spray a year where we cover everything so we shan't be needing it again for a while or any vehicles that they've got for spraying so we can just leave that part there and we've locked it up I'm just going to go and have a jump over this wall and have a look at this um, poplar because I'm not sure how that lot's getting on seems to have shot up a bit We'll have to investigate that with a poplar guy, just find out when we're able to get it bailed. So we'll give him a call later as well about that. So for this episode, that is going to be it, I think. So thanks very much for watching and we'll catch you all again next time. Cheers.